Anderson now as we start with three straight singles, which is pretty unusual in a pro stock qualifying session. The HendrickCars.com machine. Greg was able to take advantage of the non-Western swing for Pro Stock big time. They ran Denver out there at Vandermeer Speedway, but did not go to Seattle and Sonoma. They spent a lot of time in the shop. It's been a big year for Greg Anderson as KB Racing became KB Titan Racing. So there was a lot of things going on earlier in the year that Greg was handling. Well, they spent a lot of time in the machine shop. They spent a lot of time in the dyno room, and they found some power. He came back in Kansas and Brainerd with a hot rod that would run big time, putting up some ETs that we've come to expect. Out there in Brainerd, Brainerd said he just drove through the clutch and uh, fell by the wayside. 667, 6207. Greg Anderson's going to want to jump up there, and we'll see what he can do on this solo shot. Well, they built a 520-inch motor, so that helped. Don't you say that. Someone will believe you. Hey, just for the record, race fans, we would normally not start with three straight singles, but remember, we got the Too Fast, Too Tasty Mission Food Shootout coming up. And so those cars are going to be at the back of the pack. And since the majority of those cars were supposed to be right lane cars, well, that's why it ends up like this. They're going to be back here racing for cash and racing for some bonus points that they'll get to keep next week when everybody else loses a bunch of them. Best move we've seen so far on the early part of the racetrack, 6.63.8 at 2.06.61 for Greg Anderson. So 10th, that is better than what he ran yesterday. But we're going to use that now as the benchmark to uh, judge the rest of the field. 6.63.8, he was 9.95 to 60 feet, and that is uh, pretty solid on a 126-degree racetrack. 